And this coming Saturday is the third Saturday of the month. Every September, that's when the Greeley Irish Festival is held. The town is tradition rich. Residents love this event. They also love to welcome visitors, which is why our next guest is here this morning. Yes, Chuck Sweeney. Welcome to the morning blend. Chuck, nice to have top you. Of the morning. Yeah. Top, top of the, of the morning. morning. That's right. Yeah. Uh, you got the you got the polo on yep. with the Greeley Irish Festival. Oh, yeah. You ready to go? He's ready. Uh, Committee shirt. <laughs> tell us about this festival in a nutshell. Well, it started back in 2007. Uh, for decades, Greeley, the town of Greeley, the size of that town under 10,000, we've had the most Irish descent or uh, population. And so we've talked about it for years, you know, and one of the local guys from here, uh, Omaha, sent a band up there several years ago and got, you know, got everybody's interest and we tried it for, but we finally in 2007 got things put together mm -hmm. and started our, uh, we, I think we pulled in a thousand people that first year and it's been growing ever since. Mm -hmm. Where are you now? If you think this oh, year you'll welcome Oh, we generally people? run anywhere between 16 to 2,000, mm -hmm. 1,600 to 2,000 yeah. people. And now you're drawing people from Omaha, from Lincoln, mm -hmm. all the surrounding towns, so it keeps getting better. Talk about the entertainment. What are, what are people going to see? Well, uh, this year we have a, a, a band here from Omaha, Dicey Riley's. We also had the Elders, which is probably one of the most uh, popular Irish bands throughout the country. I mean, they play nation worldwide, actually. Um, they, they, this will be their second year there, and they really have a, a large, uh, a large mm -hmm. following. Uh, also, a band more for the younger crowd is the Wild Colonial Boys, mm -hmm. and they've been there a couple, a couple years. They, they draw a lot of. Uh, a lot of uh, the younger crowd or whatnot. Music is a big part of what you do. Oh, it so is. So dance and food, so cover those Yes, for we us. have uh, the Omaha um, Pipes and Drums have been there from mm -hmm. the get-go. They, they just really enjoy our, pra our uh, festival. Last year we started out, we got, we got them to start out down on the Main Street of Greeley and they, the Pipe and Drums, uh, they walked up to the Irish Festival. So this mm -hmm. year, yeah, if you if you're a clan, what they call a clan sponsor, and uh, we're going to have a few clans follow the the Omaha Pipes and Drums and up into the up into the. Uh, what are you What are you eating this year? Oh, there's there's several food vendors. Uh, there's a church group that serves a, a traditional Irish stew. Our our I guess you call our main food vendor is a. Outfit out of Grand Island, Uncle Ed's, and and he has like corned beef and cabbage. Yeah, and, traditional and dishes. Traditional dishes, mm -hmm. plus your regular, plus the regular festival dishes food. Too. And then you have the cultural center, right? What's yes, the, center? the the festival is held on the grounds of the old Sacred Heart School, and uh, so the gymnasium is used as our cultural center. And there's a uh, several years ago there was a young lady, and she has since, since passed away, but she she had an extensive uh, Irish history collection, and, and uh, where. Uh, people's names, you know, originated mm -hmm. from, and uh, another lady has taken that over and has expanded on it. We have a, oh. we have a, the gym is pretty well filled with cultural events. We have another event in that culture center. We have a lady, uh, Sherry, well, Sherry Beam Clark, but it's a different name Clark sure. now. But anyway, she dresses in period clothing, and oh. this year she's going to be talking as an immigrant coming on the orphan mm -hmm. train. Oh, wow, she, cool. she talks to Irish brogue in period clothing, period setup. We're, we're going to run out of time here, mm. um, but there's this, right, O'Neill says we're Nebraska's capital. We don't want to start any trouble. No mud slinging here. O'Neill claims to be the Irish oh, capital of Nebraska. I, Put them in their place, Chuck. I know. I was in O'Neill last Saturday. I tried to set them straight. Uh -huh. that we've come to the Irish capital Saturday, <laughs> but... Yeah. Uh, but in Greeley, you feel like you are Nebraska's Oh, yes, because Irish our capital. decades, for decades, mm -hmm. our census has said that we've got the most Irish... Uh, Descent. Mm -hmm. Greeley, only about two and a half hours northwest of Omaha. So mm -hmm. if you're going to make that yes. trek, you can head down I-80 or you can go up through Columbus and come around that way. <laughs> but buy tickets with PayPal or you can get them at the gate, GreeleyIrishFestival.com, mm -hmm. September 19th. Happy it's 40th up. anniversary. Well, thank Chuck. you very much. They're going to be celebrating much. him and his bride. And yeah. did you notice we had some shamrocks falling for you over the oh, logo? <laughs> nice good. touch. Thank you. Have a great weekend, okay? Thanks, you bet. Thank you, thank you very good much. To Hope you. to see you in Greeley. We'll be back in a minute.